And we're back. Uh, I just was quiet over there because my neighbors were working on their boat. I don't want to do the whole intro and all with them like standing, not right next to me, but they're like working on the fence like, Howdy, how you doing neighbor? I'm like, uh, let me just hang and I'll just say hi to the audience like that quietly. Anyway, welcome to Daily Commitment where we do a little bit of exercise every day. And then we increase that exercise very slowly. Finally out here in the sun again, so yay. Rather than doing late at night. So that's good, didn't put it off. Uh, we're gonna start with our curls. This is our last day of doing 20 curls. This is, or not 20 curls, well, it's la not last day doing 20 curls, but it's our last day doing these super light 10 pound curls. We're gonna be doing, I, I don't know what kind of weight we're gonna do. We're gonna add weight. I don't know what we're going up to yet, I haven't decided, but we're definitely adding weight. These are super light. But they're perfect for starting a habit. Right? And that's what this is all about. Learning how to make working out a habit. So, anyway, we're up to eight, nine, ten, eleven, all the way down, hanging loosely to the side, twelve, all the way down, thirteen. Definitely feel like getting tired out, fourteen. Not gonna put a lot of strength doing this though, fifteen. You build some endurance. 16. You learn how to do the exercise correctly. 17. You learn the discipline of doing it every day. 18. And you will make some progress. 19. 20. All right. And uh, now we'll switch sides. I mean, you guys have heard of crash diets, right? Crash diets don't work. Crash exercise doesn't work, right? You don't want to do one, whatever. Can we get a better angle? Can we see a little bit more of it? Two, three. But yeah, you don't want to do one yo yo exercise. Four, nice, even pace. Five, six, seven. It's hot out here. I'll take a cold shower after this. Eight, nine. 10. We'll see what we come up with tomorrow. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. There we go. I definitely felt tired out at the end of that. Maybe it's the heat, so way more tired than usual after just those. Normally those don't even stress me, but for some reason they stress me a little bit today. Which shows you why you go up slowly. So we'll see what happens next with that. It'll be fun uh, to move up tomorrow on Sunday. Now it's time for some push-ups. Now, we did six two days ago, but we only got five yesterday. And uh, since we did them late at night, now we're doing them kind of daytime we're not going to maybe have had as much of a break in between so maybe it'll slow us down we'll just see we'll see how we do so there's our feet you can see our feet see your shoulders right here we're gonna come down right under shoulders see things itch in my back here all right we're gonna come down right under shoulders we're gonna come back a little bit to get a good center of gravity we're gonna try to keep those elbows tucked right back there all right let's tighten legs tighten butt tighten shoulders tighten chest tighten everything one two Three, 
four. I think we're just gonna stop at five. And five. All right, I think we flared at the end there too. <laughs> I just started, I don't know, I didn't have that much energy, but that's fine, I got through it. I forgot about tucking at the end of it. I'm sure I would start out like this and then it went like that, but that's fine. We'll get that form down, we'll just keep working at it. Uh, I was really concentrating on keeping my body straight. I'm like, I really want to concentrate on keeping that board. And when I did that, I stopped thinking of my shoulders. And that last push, I was running out of energy. I could feel, I could feel my elbows flaring out and messing up, but that's okay. We'll do it again tomorrow. We'll try to remember all our coaching points tomorrow. Got a lot more of these exercises left to do since you've been doing it every day of your life. Like every day? Yeah. That's the concept. It's not a goal. It's a journey. It's not a destination. Your destination is doing it every day. The other stuff, eh. you can look at some of these numbers, some of these health things, feelings maybe in your body of strength or maybe smaller pants or whatever. But really, the goal is just to be with your body every day and do these kind of things. So that you're not just caught up in the bullshit of life. It isn't really physical, right? We get caught up in our mental lives a lot. So, a couple really good things you guys try to do. Anyway, let's do it, guys. Let's do some squats. We got our feet not 90 degrees like you used to have them, a little bit straighter. Not totally straight like the primal squat video. Somewhere in between. All right, so we'll start. Actually, let's back up a little bit because I'm kind of near this table here that I got the camera propped up on. Back up a little bit. I want my arms to be able to go up. And we're gonna do some of them with our arms up, like this. All right, you ready? And we'll go ahead and lock our elbows, our fingers to make it a little easier. So one. Take my feet out a little bit more. Two. Three. 